My message to the students is that you should be audacious in your ambitions. It is very, very important that we do not have a mindset of impossibility when we think about the things we are going to do or we want to do. Don't say it cannot be done simply because it has never been done. For many Africans, we have been infected with the impossibility mindset, which has come from 400 years of slavery and colonialism and this impact on our mindset. We always think things are impossible. We, in Africa, cannot do some of the things that you see the advanced countries doing. And we always have to remain second or third best. Let us be very clear that we have the brains. We have what it takes to achieve whatever the advanced countries have achieved. And so don't have an impossibility mindset. And we see that impossibility mindset pervading our discourse. When you bring up an idea, they immediately tell you it is not possible. When we talked about free SHS, they said it was 419. When I talked about mobile money interoperability, to make the mobile money account interoperable with the bank account, which had never been done anywhere in Africa, and I didn't even know any country in the world that had done it. But when we said Ghana needs to do it, because we need to bring everybody into the financial system, they said it was not possible. When we talked about the digital address system for Ghana, it was ridiculous. Drones to deliver medical supplies, it was ridiculous. Said it was impossible. When we talked about the Ghana car becoming an e-passport, we were told it was not possible. But when you put your mind to it, you have to reach for the stars. You shouldn't be guided by an impossibility mindset. It can be possible. Today in Ghana, we have done many things over the last five years that we haven't done in our history for 60 years after independence. Today, we have a national ID card, which we have been struggling to get for 60 years. Today, for the first time in our history, the whole of Ghana has an address system, a digital address system which we have been struggling for 60 years to get. When we brought it, they said it was not possible. Today, Ghana is the first country in, the world, in, in Africa and one of the few in the world to have mobile money interoperability. They don't even have it in the United States. Today, we have the fastest growing mobile money market in Africa. And today, over 90% of the adult population of Ghana either has a bank account or a mobile money account. We have moved from around 40% to 90%. Today, over 80% of adults in Ghana have a tax identification number. In 2016, it was only 4%. Today, it is 85%. Today, we apply for passports online, digital. Driver's licenses application is online now. Today, you can apply for scholarships online. You can buy electricity units on your mobile phone. You can renew your NHIS insurance membership on your mobile phone. There's a paperless clearing of your goods at the ports, reducing corruption. Yes, and the Ghana card can be used as a travel document to come into Ghana from abroad. Today, we are using drones to deliver medicines, blood, and vaccines across the country. 
Next week, I'm going to launch the new drone center that will serve Afram Plains and the Volta region, another one in Kitakrachi to serve Oti and the Savannah regions. Ghana, our own country, Ghana, today, I'm so proud. We are the world's, the world's largest drone medical delivery service. Ghana is leading in the world. The whole world. And this company we are working with, Zipline, was just given last month or two a contract by the United States government to come and do that work in the United States. We are leading the world, and people are coming to recruit our young men and women who are into the drone technology. We have launched, and we are the, about one of the few countries in the world, we are launching a national e-pharmacy where you can sit at your home and order any drug from any pharmacy, and it will be delivered for you at home. We are... Next, uh, next month, ladies and gentlemen, we are digitizing the school feeding program. And next month, <laughs> next month, I will launch, we, I, we looked at I, it last week, it's all set. Next month, we will launch a digitized school feeding program. We will know every school in the country, every day, if you feed them rice and beans, we will know. How many students you have fell, fed, we will know. There will be no room for Kululu in the school feeding program after we launch this program next month. We are doing so much for the first time. And we need to understand that we are changing this country. We are transforming this country. Let nobody tell us that we cannot do it. One ambassador told me um, very recently that the things we are doing in Ghana, even in their advanced country, they are not able to do it. Because the thing for us is that we are coming late into the game. So we are able to leapfrog a lot of systems because we don't have legacy systems. So I want to tell our young men and women here in Fijai, that you should reach for the skies. We can do anything that we set our minds to. We should not let the history of slavery and colonialism enslave our mindsets. We can do it. And we should never even be afraid to fail. You may set your mind to do something. You may not achieve it, but in not achieving it, you learn something. When the NASA, when the U.S. tried to get to the moon, they did, not, they did not succeed on the first attempt, but they learned something and they finally got it. So you should try and try and try again until you succeed. Keep trying. 